James Corden is coming under fire right now after some of his employees have alleged that the late night host demanded a $5 million raise. The National Enquirer first reported on this rumor that James had wanted a huge pay increase but had no plans of sharing any of that wealth with his hardworking staff. An inside source alleged he's trying to get more money for himself but doing nothing to make the show a happier place to work. While James puts himself out there as Mr. Nice Guy on camera, he is rarely warm or even kind to his staff. Now to me, it looks like we may have another Ellen story on our hands. Staff members have also described Corden as being a true diva who loves to work. Another insider added, People love working for Jimmy Kimmel, but it's a different story at Corden's show, where there always seems to be the threat that he's looking for something better. To say he isn't well-liked is an understatement. He likes to pit his most talented people against each other. He seems to get a kick out of seeing people squirm. Now, for starters, there are a lot of claims going on here from these insiders, if you will. As for the $5 million raise, there isn't much evidence to suggest that this is actually true. I mean, most salary negotiations are kept confidential, and even if it was leaked, you would expect to see some, I don't know, larger media outlets covering this story first. However, all I could find right now were gossip blogs that clearly do not like James Corden to begin with, which makes it that much easier for them to talk trash about the late night host. That being said, this isn't the first time that a rumor has circulated accusing James of being either distant, cold, or aloof with his staff. But the truth of the matter is, most celebrities have this reputation. Rarely are celebrities the bubbly personality that we see them portraying on television or in movies. I also couldn't find much evidence of Corden staffers actually complaining about him publicly. So again, these gossip blogs are perhaps just using the word insider as a way of getting their own opinions on James out there. You see, if you claim that it's from someone that has worked with him, that obviously would apply more legitimacy to the story. However, until more people speak about this publicly, I would take these stories with a grain of salt. Recently, James had to put the Late Late Show on pause after he posted to Instagram that he had contracted COVID-19. In a post, James writes, I just tested positive for COVID-19. I'm fully vaccinated, boosted, and because of this, I'm fortunate enough to say I feel completely fine. The show will be off the air for the next few days. Stay safe, everyone. All my love, James. Now, admittedly, I am not a huge fan of James Corden, but when I found out that he got COVID, I didn't jump for joy. I was blown away by the number of people on Twitter that were actually happy to see James get sick with this. We should not be wishing illness on people. That is not the right energy to be entering into 2022 with. Like I always say, if you don't like someone, you don't have to watch their content. That's pretty much it. You can just move on to something else. I mean, to take it to that next step, though, of celebrating someone getting sick with COVID is really messed up. I will keep you all updated on this $5 million raise story, though, if any actual staffers from James Corden's crew say anything. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this, though, because that's all the time that we have for today. So stay classy, and I'll see you on the next one.